It is the government's responsibility to provide citizens with health care. Some developing countries like Pakistan, however, have failed to provide people with even basic health care facilities. Like several other sectors, the health sector presents an abysmal picture. In Lahore, for example, no new government hospital has been constructed in the last 20 years. In some government hospitals, projects to install new medical units were initiated by the previous government but have been delayed by four to five years. These projects include Jinnah Hospital's Burns Unit, Mayo Hospital's Surgical Tower, a new building for the Services Hospital and the Institute of Neurosciences. The projected cost of each of these buildings was between 1.5 to 3 billion rupees. However, the estimated cost has now increased by at least three times. को सेपरेट फंड्स को नहीं रखा जाता और इन फंड्स को कहीं और फाइनेंस वाले रीशफल करके शिफ्ट कर देते हैं तो फिर ये यहाँ पे इनके पास फंड्स नहीं रह जाते उनको टाइमली रिलीजेस नहीं मिलती और जब वो रिलीजेस नहीं मिलती तो एक विशेष साइकिल है कि आपकी कॉस्ट ओवर रन कर दी जाती है The current government has blamed the delays in these projects on last year's devastating floods. However, various other reasons have also been cited for the hold-ups. The government's SOPs are the law department, CNW, and many other things, P&D, finance. These are all the different issues that the government has to go through. And this is the red tape. The end is when you send the file to the office, the father or the officer is the one who is sitting there. The government claims that in the coming fiscal year, the construction work for these buildings will be completed. But ground reality suggests the construction would require modern equipment and facilities which call for more funds. Acquiring these funds, though, will result in further delays. Reporting by Fatma Ali for Express 24-7.